morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on what time you're watching. Uh, just walking across the field here, it's slurry time. I've started up a new venture where I plan to do a bit more sort of social media and videos and stuff. And just generally letting people know the contract inside of farming. There's a lot of farmers that puts good videos out on YouTube and there's very few good contract ones for Northern Ireland. So I thought I would start a train. So sort of plan to do a video a month as we go along and just say what how we're getting on and there'll be no no editing, no cutting bits out. It'll be hopefully all the truth and the good bits and the bad bits. So we just want to let people know what we're doing at the minute. We've just started the slurry campaign here in February. We'll have a slurry system here behind me, 12 meter dribble bar. And we also invested this year in another system, another 12 meter bar. We're just down here today uh, testing it out. This is the first aid for this dribble bar here. So we thought we'd give it a go as a bit of a test run and just make sure everything's going fine before we take it to another job. But the way we've seen the weather going in this past year, we thought there'd be a lot of pressure on February time, everybody's tanks was full. And what the one system that we had out, I used to go to farms and it could be tied up for two or three days. After you'd done two or three farms, the next man down the line, he was waiting for maybe a week, two weeks. So our plan now was to try and get two systems going and run the two of them together in different parts of the country. So one man starts at one farm and then the other system goes to the other farm to try and take the pressure off of it. Today we're direct pumping from the yard. Right about 1.6 kilometers. But the plan going forward is to run one system direct pumping and then run one system with the three ferry tankers to the far away ground at different farms so we're all getting tied up in the same yard. Apart from investing in another dribble bar, we've also invested in uh, three bigger tankers, we've increased the capacity of the tankers uh, just to try and get the job done a bit quicker for us it lets us away to another job we were planning this year in the, we were planning this year in the springtime that everybody's tanks would be full because of the bad weather all last summer 2023 and then we have a lot of new autumn crops sown so we are sort of panicking a bit that we would have a lot of spring drilling to do and slurry to go out at the same time so we invested for the second dribble bar and then we also went for bigger tankers, we've increased the capacity of our tankers. We did look, a cheaper option would have been to buy in currently your own three tankers, a cheaper option would have been to buy a fourth tanker, but one of my pet peeves, I hate seeing the tankers go into a man's yard and queuing up behind each other. So rather than put a fourth tanker in the line, we went for, we changed all three for three bigger ones. So it means now that every man is still the same with the tankers, but every man's taking more with him as he goes. So we're going to spend more time pumping and spend less time on the road. So it's win-win for everybody. And there shouldn't be a backlog of people queuing at the gate or people queuing in the yard. The plan is with the second slurry system, it's to take the pressure at the start and at peak times off, off our main system. Um, not really looking for twice as much work because then I'll just be standing still. Uh, just standing still, keeping the two systems working to full capacity. So with us running two systems now, we can we can send two out when the weather's good and get the pressure off. But it also leaves me open as well. There's a few times whenever we're too busy um, to help any other farmers need to hand with their slurry. So this just allows us a wee bit of buffer. If anybody needs a hand that we don't previously do or we didn't do as much for, we can now go to them quicker and we won't have to wait as long for the other slurry system to uh, get finished up. On slurry systems we have the New Holland tractors with the Ferio gearbox. We like them in the field because if we want to fit precisely 2,000, 3,000 gallons an acre on, we can adjust our speed um, in small increments, not point one, not point not, not one kilometers an hour, so we can get precise measurements on. We found in the past with tractors with gearboxes and stuff, you were limited to the speed in that gear. So by using the Ferio gearbox we can get precise applications and then Know exactly what we're putting on using the flow meters. So, hopefully, that's just a quick video, and hopefully, the camera was pointing in the right direction and everybody can hear me okay. And 
if I get home and there's no footage, I'll be disappointed, I'm sure. So hopefully this is the start of something for me. Just to let people know how contracting is and the happy times and sad times, the good times and bad times, and just to let people know what we get up to in the year for sometimes if you're in the thick of your own business, you know all the machines that you have and every detail, and you get talking to people, the public and customers, and sometimes they're not quite sure or they just didn't know you had something to do a job for them. So I sort of thought if I can do videos now and again, maybe one a month to see how I get on. Uh, who knows what could happen? People might see what we're doing and say flip that's a good idea to come do a bit of work for us or just to help other people, heal other people's ideas on YouTube and speak to everybody else and see other people in the world do it. So if anybody has any suggestions for video content or wants to know anything just give me a shout. Both are spreading tractors as well. We're spreading with GPS domes. I don't know if it's clear in the footage if we can see it. But we're with GPS up and down the field in dead straight lines and we're precise within two to three centimeters so we can get the correct amount of application on on the cracked area and be very very efficient using the using the variable speed variable system gearboxes and using GPS steering and also using the flow meters we can get the accurate amounts on in the right places. Both are spreading tractors are spreading with 900 on the rears and 710s on the front to try and reduce as much of the ground compaction in the wet weather and this time of year as possible. So we're using large flotation tires. The tractor just in the video is using VF technology on 900 sand 710. So we can pressures are well well down, have a good flex in the side sidewall, have a good long tire footprint and try and reduce our impact on the on the ground, especially in our conditions it can be slightly wet or ground's not as firm as it can be. As I mentioned earlier about the tankers, we've been, uh, increased the capacity of our tankers so each tanker is going to take a third more now to the field so each tanker is more efficient by 33% so that's 100% over three tankers that's a 100% increase which will be uh, a benefit passed on to the farmer so we're going to spend less time on the road and spend more time spreading the slurry there'll be less road travel too so Joe Bloggs from the public he'll be happy but all these things incurs a lot of cost so we've invested heavily in, in the slurry system this year in multiple ways so we just hope that it pays off uh, the dribble bar had turned up the new dribble bar turned up for the start of February and the tankers shouldn't be far behind so we'll keep using the ones that we have currently until the new ones turn up but they shouldn't be far away this tractor here just has a front wheel block on just for testing the dribble bar but it will be running with a front wheeler with uh, more sections of pipe I don't want to take it out on its first day in case you get a few teething problems with all new machines so we'll just run it down the road to fry it out but it will come with a uh, front wheeler and its own pipe system as we're spreading away I've been mentioning about our investment in our slurry system just finished testing the new dribble bar here and glad we're dead. There's a few wee teeth and problems to sort out, but nothing major. Uh, slurry cat and grove machinery, they're not hard to work with, so hopefully we can get it sorted tomorrow, get us going on the road for Monday. Um, as well as dribble bar on bigger tankers, we've also went for a, a much more larger compressor, so we can blow the pipes out a whole lot faster. So this here is the compressor that we used to use. But we're going to keep this compressor here and use it for the short pump for the, for the tanker work, and then use the big compressor for the, the long stuff direct from the yard. Um, the other fellow in the dribble bar, he's absolutely ecstatic because he says he's able to blow out in more than half the time and he's not losing pressure uh, going down the pipes. And now, it was a big investment for us, but it's, it's saving time. But I know everybody's now going to think watching the video, it's going to be saving time, it's going to cost more for the farmer. Well, yes and no, no, not really. Our whole idea was to try and get the story out quicker because we've got plenty of other things to do too. We've got 2023 we've only got a quarter of our autumn crops in so there's a lot of work to come up on the next few weeks so we've invested heavily in the slurry now equipment to try and get us away quicker so it's yes it's going to save time and less hours and it's not it's going to be competitively priced um, we also we have the capacity now to take on a wee bit more work um, and hopefully our quality of work that we do at the minute well it speaks for itself um, we're not ones for going around door to door trying to pinch work off other contractors. We, we get on with most of other contractors in the country and we're not going to start standing on people's toes. So just if anybody needs a hand with slurry, you know, feel free to like, tag and share the video. We would rather that you come to us rather than us going door to door and trying to pinch work off other people. So yes, if any, by all means, if anybody needs a hand, we now have the capacity to do a wee bit more. Um, feel free to reach out for any more information. 
So hopefully from the video and all the videos I've done, hopefully the camera was pointing the right way and I was able to hear myself and hopefully I didn't make too much of a tit of myself. But yes, going forward, I'd, I'd like to do more of this if I can get the time and show things from a contractor's perspective. I love it, so I hope to do a bit more sort of behind the scenes. So hopefully this video isn't too bad and hopefully the next one will be a whole lot better. But uh, if anybody would like to see anything or wants to know a bit more about other things or more, know more about the slurry equipment, and hopefully I get a chance to do it. Just feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you think. Thank you.